Yo, what's going on guys, DJS here, man. I had to do this video as soon as I saw this tweet from Nike. Been waiting to hear from an update. As you guys know, last week's RSVP thing did not work the way it normally does. It went with a uh, first in or first come first serve uh, method. And I knew it wasn't gonna last. I actually talked to somebody and they said that they are gonna be working on a new sort of RSVP system. But um, kind of along those lines, uh, you could see this tweet from Nike Store right here. It says, our commitment to fairness, read the updated NikeStore.com launch guide for our position on auto scripting. Clipped on, I clicked on here and checked it out and it says, um, and you guys can read this and I'll, I'll post this link in the actually in the description so you guys can actually go directly here and check it out. But it says right here, um, Nike often released a special limited edition items um, known as launch products. Uh, we can find the easiest launch products by going on the, the launch calendar. Um, given the popularity, many Nike launch products sell out quickly. It's best to be prepared. You can use the following tips to improve your chances to secure Nike products. Now it says, our commitment to fairness. We believe in playing in a level playing field for product launches on Nike.com. That's why we don't authorize the use of automated scripting methods intended to offer any shopper an unfair advantage. If we determine that any order was placed using one of these methods, we may refuse or cancel your order. So that's crazy news. If by chance they suspect that it is from a script, they will cancel the order, no questions asked. And I, I whether or not they can actually catch a lot of the things, that's going to be another thing. But the fact that they're actually actively looking at trying to make it more of a playing a level playing field let's let's us know one they know that it's a problem and two that they're willing to fix it and i think that this is speaks really really uh, largely of nike as a corporation and and frankly it's been really frustrating knowing that there's been launches that i've been snaked out of and you guys have been snaked out of um because other people have a, a, an unfair comp um it's not even a competitive advantage. It's it's a completely unfair, biased advantage for paying a little bit more. Now, I know that there's people that I know and, and subscribers that use bots and, and these things. And I'm not mad at you guys for doing that because if you guys can find your own advantage point, I, I've been almost stuck to the point where I want to actually use those services as well just to be able to get some of the ones that I really, really want. Um, but but uh, but luckily, I haven't had a, to result to just doing that or anything like that. But I think that... Um, it's your guys' choice to do those type of things or not. It's just, uh, for me, morally, I just, I don't feel right, uh, kind of cheating the system. However, if the cheat, if, if the system is exposed, which it has been, um, uh, many, many times, even though they've tried to make improvements, it, it's still exposed. Um, people are going to take advantage of it. And I don't really think even the online thing, I mean, to me, the, the, the biggest thing that would, um, solve some of the, maybe not the Twitter RSVP, but the Nike store.com like launches at 5 a.m. is they should, for number one, they should have a captcha on it. That way, uh, hopefully you wouldn't be able to do the whole, um, like instant programming thing. It would go to a captcha. That's the whole point of what a captcha is. The other thing is, is for the, the Twitter RSVP, uh, it wouldn't really help much, but I was suggesting that they should have a designated time, just like the 5 a.m. launches on Saturdays for, releases they should have a designated time for when the release should uh happen and here's the more of the information down here at the bottom um but they should i, I would say they should do a designated time usually it's the thursday before the saturday and they should say let's say three or four p.m exactly that way you could all go in and, and try to get it at the same time granted the bots um it's it's there's literally no competition because they'll, they'll win every single time uh with with the way it's it's set up but and if from what i realized the ones that the bots didn't that I was able to get was because the bots were not filled for those particular sneakers. So it's been kind of a, a crazy battle to get sneakers nowadays. And uh, last weekend, again, as I mentioned, was really refreshing just to be able to go in and make stuff happen. Oh, you guys, that was a, hopefully you guys didn't see that. Uh, I guess I'll give you guys a little preview. This is something I'm working on. Damn it, I wasn't going to show you guys that. Uh, it's collectivekicks.com is, is a website that I'm working on. Um, don't tell anybody. It's kind of I'm designing a logo as we speak, as you can see there. Anyway, don't let's let's not spread that around yet. Uh, I haven't launched. I'm I'm doing a, a little bit of work with a buddy of mine to to get it uh, launched proper. But uh, but anyway, uh, that's all I got. I just want to let you guys know that they are um doing some sort of um precautionary measures. Whether or not it's actually going to work, we'll see when the next release comes out. If you guys didn't know, they did re uh say that the Hazelnut release was on the 6th, I believe. So this upcoming Saturday, the Hazelnut LeBron 10s, which is the one that I actually I want out of all of them. Um, I like those more than the denims, and I like those probably more than the corks as well. Uh, but anyway, we will catch you guys later. I just wanted to feel I felt like I should make this video since we saw the, the tweet from them. So uh, props to Nike for, for trying to make some things happen. And 
I wanted to see that this person sent me one of the thrift shop things and I can't open it. It says eight, eight ninety nine for 95 shadows. I just got to see what they look like. Um, anyway, and also I'm in the process right here. Uh, you can see I have all this, uh, DJ stuff out here right now. I'm actually, I has, I have my turntable set up right now. I might be making a mix CD if you guys are interested. Um, anyway, I'm out. Peace. We'll catch you guys later.